uh, it's interesting that this is coming up. And so, uh, in essence, uh, Mr. Etiaba, what the PDP is seeking is that, uh, oh, don't let me put words into your mouth. What exactly is PDP seeking? PDP wants the court to confirm that Governor Buni has ceased to be governor of Yobe State. They jury because of the activities that he has embarked on to wit being the caretaker committee chairman of APC. We are talking about having ceased. We are not telling the court to remove him. We are telling the court to confirm that. And when the court confirms that, the declaration will be made that he is no longer the governor of the state. We are also saying that by reason of the judgment uh, in the case of Itai uh, Ojegede versus Akkeri Lulu, uh, both SAN, um, the Supreme Court decision that was delivered on the 28th day of July 2021, we are saying on the strength of that judgment alone that Buni has ceased to be the governor of uh, Yobe State. The only reason why the Supreme Court did not descend on him it's straightforward. You can read it. You can glean it from that judgment because he wasn't a party in that appeal. If he was a party in that appeal, he would have left the government house a long time ago. And we're saying now PDP has come in line with that judgment, brought Bruni before the court for him to now air his own defense. Tell Nigerians, tell the court why he thinks that he alone can be the governor of Yobe State and at the same time be the chair, uh, caretaker chairman of of the APC. And this is a political party, don't forget, that has all it takes to run its national secretariat. And so this is what we call impunity at the highest mm -hmm. level, that a governor in the office will double as the national chairman of a political party, not just for one year, but one year and counting. That is called impunity. And PDP has said that they, it cannot be tolerated anymore. This is a polity that must be cleansed. And PDP says it must be cleansed. Somebody alluded to the fact that PDP does not have enough interest in the matter. And uh, my answer is very straightforward, because I'm not one that is given to uh, playing to the gallery. PDP, uh, the actions of Buni over the year has actually affected PDP in so many ways. The governorship election in Edo State, the governorship election in Ondo State, the governorship election that is um, going on now, the preparation is going on now in Anambra. Buni signed all the nomination papers. And so that affects PDP. Above, above that, mm. we can give you reasons, more reasons why Buni should not be in the dual office and how it affects the PDP. So you're Thank saying you. that the PDP has a locus in this matter um, uh, because uh, this is an internal party matter, some lawyers will argue. How can we say that it's an internal matter of the APC when you're talking about infraction of the drawn norm, the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that binds every Nigerian? In fact, the provisions of Section 183 of the Constitution, because of the seriousness that APC attaches to it, APC had to lift that same provision into its constitution in Article 17, sub Article 4 they actually domesticated this particular provision to show you that they are aware of what they are doing. How can they, after reading uh, the such provision in the constitution, applying it into their constitution, still go ahead? Is that not uh, executive recklessness? Is it not? Can, can Nigerians sit back and say, why would this matter be in court? And I hear people talk in a very derogatory manner. But you see, well, the people have been impoverished, so they can air any view at any time. But some party like PDP says, toss fan no more.